Hi guys, this is the last video of the Golang and Todo full stack uh, project series. <clears throat> so um, we are complete with all the functions right now. And uh, I have tested the code and I've found some issues in the front end as well as the back end. So first let's figure out and solve all the front end issues. Okay. Now to save your time, I'm not going to test it here and show you the, the issues, but I'll show you, but I'll uh, directly show you the issues and how to fix them. All right. The first issue that you'll face is um, it'll say that React, it's not able to import React. Yeah, that's because the R is um, capital, so it should be small, right? So if you've built the program along with me and you uh, run npm start, the first issue that you'll get will be that it's not able to find React. Right? It's not able to import React, right? That's the reason is because um, React, sorry, uh, R is small, not uh, capital R, right? That'll be an issue. Similarly, then once you solve that issue, you'll get an issue saying that componented mount should actually be componented mount with a small c. Once you solve that issue, you'll get an uh, error out here, which which will say that target, it doesn't understand what this target is because this is a, a spelling mistake, should have been target. And you'll get an issue here as well, because this should have been small s with set state. Everything else is up to the mark there. You won't find any other issues in the entire program. <coughs> And um, uh, after that, uh, you know, after that also the program won't work because uh, we have used semantic UI and we have used um, Axios, but we have not installed them. So what you want to do right now is you will um, go to your package.json file. And if you, do, if you already have a package log.json file, uh, I suggest you delete it first. And your package.json file, you will come here and you will add, uh, <coughs> you will add, semantic UI react and you will add uh, this version you'll add a caret first caret characters which is shift uh, and six on your uh, keyboard and here you'll say 0 0.88.2 now this is you could use any other version but this is the version I've tested it with and it works uh, pretty fine with this version, right? And you have to close this bracket, uh, this uh, double inverted commas here as well. Now, um, if you if you did con uh, create React app, then you probably got uh, React 17 version and React Tom 17 version, right? Now I tested with the 17 version. It get, did give me a few issues. So I would suggest you uh, downgrade it to 16.14.0. So basically just manually write 16.14.0, which is just the version before uh, version 17. So it won't be giving you any issues with semantic UI. Now semantic UI is a different uh, NPM library. Sem semantic Rea UI React is the right uh, UI library for us. So let's just make sure this is the one that you <coughs> have installed. All right, and then you have to uh, get Axios. The Axios version that you need is 0.21.1. You could be using any other version, but I'm just telling you um, this pr particular program is stable with these particular versions of the libraries, right? So I don't have a package.json file, a package.json file, and I'm going to delete my node modules. All right, so you, I suggest you do the same with me. And <clears throat> then hopefully uh, everything is up to the date, except for one little thing, right? So if you go to your index.html, in your public folder. Here, you need to import uh, semantic UI, right? So let me find that link for semantic UI. You can find it on the internet, or you can slowly, uh, you know, type it along with me if you want. I'll actually type it along because if you're not able to find this link, you're still, uh, you know, you won't be left scrambling, right? If you find it from the internet, amazing. But if you don't find it from the internet, Type it along with me, style sheet. All right, and href slash slash cdn dot js deliver where v doesn't have after the after v there's no r dot net. So here you'll write dot net slash npm slash semantic dash ui at the rate 2.4.2 slash distic dist slash semantic dot min dot css 
all right so <clears throat> once you have this link hopefully everything will work just save your file and now you have to uh, let me start a new terminal actually and you have to just uh, npm install the, the changes that we made in our package.json file we need to install those changes in the project and so that uh, package dot uh, package log .json file is created for us and also the um, node modules uh, are you know imported for us right so i'll head over to the place in my pro laptop where i keep this project scolang react to do and i'll just say npm install so it'll take a while and i'll pause this video right now and i'll come back once this is done you can do the same So in a new terminal, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to uh, run the server side code so that let's let's we can you know find the issues there as well. So in my server, I'll say go run main dot go. So here are all the issues that I have. All right, most of them are around importing this model's uh, module. So firstly, what you would want to do is you want to run go mod tidy. So you'll say go mod tidy. Secondly, we'd want to say github.com slash akil slash golangria to do slash models and then when you run it again we're getting some more errors all right now uh, one issue that I can quickly uh, find and you know sort out is that on line 151 uh, insert one should have been insert one right the with capital I so let's go to line 151 quickly and there should have been capital I so that's sorted now let's try running it again so at least that one issue is gone right on line 117 cannot use context.background so let's go to line 117 so let's quickly find this issue on line 117 yep this needs to have brackets and uh, line 38 so instead of URL it should be URI and now let's <coughs> run it again add loading the .env file so this file is not getting loaded here so let's see why that is an issue so that is a simple issue because env needs to be inside the server folder move and now let's see what happens uh, i'm expecting many more errors oh it started okay so everything works perfectly fine on the server and if you look at our uh, front end it is uh, it's you know completely uh, done it has um, what do you call it installed and pip install is, has happened and here you can see the package or like log.json file and node modules file so now you can run the program and everything will work perfectly fine right so uh by running the program i've already shown you in the beginning of the video but if you still want to see it if you want to run it along with me you can do that so you do npm start and the server is running so i was just also seeing that this particular uh, project on my channel sitemap call even that uh, you know i have to create the sixth part so uh, I just remembered. <laughs> so it, it's been, you know, I've not worked on the series since quite some time. So I'll have to, you know, com complete that as well. So as you can see, everything is working perfectly fine. You can test it. You can, <coughs> you know, work on it, whatever. So thank you for, uh, you know, working on the project with me and watching this series. And uh, do subscribe to the channel 
so that you will keep coming to uh, you know work on such awesome projects and thank you and see you in the next uh, episode